We've driven into Yellowstone Park and we're searching for bison. There's said to be up to 5,000 of them, but it's a huge area, about 3,500 square miles. So I just hope we find them. Centuries ago, 30 million bison ranged freely over thousands of miles between Canada and Mexico. Together, they had the equivalent weight of the entire human population of North America today. They were a supreme example of the power of pasture, of grazing animals living in harmony with nature, sustained by nothing more than sun rain and grass. Yellowstone National Park is really the best example of what wild bison looked like in the past. Large numbers and big grasslands. But in the late 1800s, millions were slaughtered by hunters, railway men, soldiers and farmers who believed these majestic animals were standing in the way of progress. The Great Plains bison were replaced by cattle and vast prairies of corn, much of it grown to feed animals incarcerated in feedlots. And they call this progress? Incredible, huh? Symbols of life before factory farming. But all is not as idyllic as it seems. The park can only sustain a limited number of bison and hundreds of animals each year are culled. Bison that stray outside the park are shot by farmers who fear they may destroy their crops or infect their cattle with brucellosis, a disease which can cause abortions and stillbirths in infected animals. Bison are habitual wanderers roaming huge distances uh, in vast numbers in the past and grazing on never-ending plains. Yet here they're shoehorned into a forest and mountainous region with woodland pasture. Yeah, it's all part of what's happening here as intensive agriculture pushes out and encroaches on the real countryside. Animals like bison become refugees, holed up here, as if in a museum. <laughs> 